What you do? Oh, are you gonna leave? Come in. Are you gonna play with Tika? Oh, um, well, I don't think Rabbit wants to play with us. Now, Rabbit has become very independent lately. Yes, yes. Are you gonna say hi? Say hi, but no one knows who you are. And I'm not introducing, because I'm not filming um, that little munchkin. But he is cute, isn't he cute? Um, anyway, well, Rabbit, where are you? I don't know where Rabbit went, but I wanted to film, um, do a little insert before, oh, oh, suck, the main video starts. Oh, get down. Um, because I, um, I've had Rabbit actually, um, you know, the dates, I never hardly ever put up a video the same day I film it. Um, I have had Rabbit for, oh, five days now. And, um, but right after the video went up, um, that evening and then the next morning, hey, here, you like these, uh, I received several emails. Well, actually, the e couple of the emails were telling me I had a comment about starting a GoFundMe, and then I had a comment about the Go. Anyway, and I have answered everyone that sent me emails about that. I have answered your email, um, which I know sometimes it takes me forever to answer emails. So if I have, if you've sent me an email and I haven't answered, I will, I swear, hopefully. Um, anyway, I did set up a GoFundMe for Rabbit. Well, it's a Metapur GoFundMe. Um, and right now, well, it's, it's for Rabbit. Also, hopefully, if there's enough, it's for these babies too, because they're also going. But, okay, I know this is all over the place. Um, it has been a long day. Well, are you out? Are you out? Did you run out? I know. You can't even eat. Look, she, she, he can't even eat with his bowl down there, like for real. Um, because he'll regurgitate it. And there's nothing in that bowl, don't worry. That is his bowl that goes up in a stand. Um, but it's out here so I can remember to put more in it. Anyway, okay, focus, focus, focus. Uh, Rabbit, oh look, Rabbit had his initial consultation oh, I, with um, the vet that is going to be his um, main vet. Uh, Rabbit had seen a vet while during the shelter period, um, but we had the consultation with the main vet, and it's the same vet that did, uh, well, that does most of my like big stuff and um she's also the one that is going to be doing these kittens um they're going to have blood work and thyroid they're all doing everything's happening the same day anyway so we think yes hi um what we really think is happening with this little lamb is the food part we think let me move my shoes that's gross we think she has mega esophagus, and I've never actually had a mega esophagus kitten um, before that had to have special um, things. Oh, yes, there you go. Uh, and we don't know. We have to, she's got to have um, x-rays and ultrasound. Oh, good job. Uh, but it does help, like when we treat, when we feed her like she has mega esophagus, it really does help. But she does... And the reason, I think I filmed a little bit of it where I was having a hard time finding what she'd eat. Sorry, it's been raining. There's leaves. Um, are you playing? Okay, you can play. Uh, she has been just regurgitating. She doesn't throw up. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, she doesn't throw up. She just, it's like she burps, sort of, and it comes out of her nose, her mouth. Uh, she chokes, she aspirated once, and it stressed me out because she coughed and coughed and coughed for hours. So anyway, um, but I set up the GoFundMe because she does need x-rays, possibly an ultrasound. We want to do a blood panel, and that's what we're going to start with. Um, if none of that shows anything, hi Chica, I don't know where any kittens are. Oh. 
I'm not even filming you. They're, they're running everywhere, and I can't follow them around. Um, if none of that shows, then we'll go from there. But And the mountain lion kittens, that's what I call them, <laughs> uh, have to have a blood panel. Hi, little love baby. Why you got a puppy tail? So, if you would like to help us out, um, because I've had lots of medical cases, and I did say I wasn't going to do another go fund me till the end of the year well it's close but it's not the end of the year uh but needs must uh there is in the description and probably the comment section a link um i know lots of people prefer the go fund me to paypal um i actually have several people that will only do it um through go fund me and that's fine i actually i really like go i love the way they're set up so I went ahead and set one up, and it will go first to rabbits stuff and testing, <laughs> and um, also to help figure out what's going on, why the little ones aren't growing. Um, yes, and that is at the beginning of next week. That is uh, Tuesday, actually. We're going Tuesday. All right. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. Rabbit. Oh. Gosh, this is so much longer than I'm in it to be. Say bye. Oh. Hey. Okay, it's me again. Say it's me again. Because, y'all, I don't know how you put up with me. Okay, so I stopped filming about rabbit's thing. Hi. Hi. I stopped filming about rabbit's thing. And then I thought, I have to. I filmed him. And then I thought, well, no, I didn't film him. Because I'll be honest, when I first got this little baby, um, I didn't think he was going to survive. There was no way. I mean, it was. It, I think I say it in the video. Um, he was a Barney situation, but one I didn't think uh, would survive. And I've actually had this baby over... Ooh. A, a long time, um, a long time, several weeks. Like he's been through quarantine. Uh, today is actually his first day going. That's why they're not actually playing together today. Is his first day out of quarantine. Yes, it is. I know you're so pretty. Um, and so I thought maybe he could play with the mountain lions for a little bit. Um, but he's not interested, as you can see, and they're not interested. Uh, but he has been by himself for a long time. So, you know, that's, that's, and he's, he's a very calm kitten. Yes, you are. He's sweet, sweet as can be, and loves to be loved. Uh, but he had a very difficult time. So, what I'm going to do is, because the other footage that I was going to put after Rabbit's announcement is like 10 minutes long, and that would make the video like 20 minutes. Um, it's of the, of the spa kittens, charities kittens. And so, I'm actually going to just put the footage that I filmed when he, when I first started filming. I kind of was going to make like another Barney video where I, I, I do this often. Um, where I'll film them when they're like really sick. And then I'll think, ooh, if they get better, it'll be such a good video because... Anyway, I'm horrible at this job, guys. The filming part, not the taking care of kittens part, but the filming part. Because I just don't have the time or the energy to make one of those kind of videos <laughs> right now. Kitten season will calm down, I promise, and my videos will go back. But, so, after this, I'm going to put his initial footage. And it is kind of sad. He looks terrible. He doesn't, he's not, he's unresponsive. Um... He is emaciated, you know, he's sick, 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 he's emaciated, and I'm, I'm poking him with needles all the time. I don't think I've filmed poking him with needles. I don't think I've ever filmed that. Oh, kitten. I don't know what just happened, but she, you hit something on the camera. You made something happen. Um, so, I'm actually just going to put that footage after this. Please don't be confused. The first shot is of me explaining rabbit 
this shot is me explaining his intake. Um, actually, it wasn't his intake. He'd been here a day or two, and it was just his first, like, day or um, two of when I filmed him. And I don't know why I never filmed him again until now, but he's healthy. He is. He's great. He has put on, look, he's got a big old belly. He's put on tons of weight, and he's doing great. Yeah, so I'm going to make it. Yeah. Now if I can just get him to play. He won't play. Um, he just wants to be held. Like, when I stop talking, he'll start hollering and want me to hold him. For some reason, if I talk, he, he just sits and listens. But isn't he beautiful? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. All right. Say bye again. Say bye. The crazy lady is... I know, I know, I know. I know I'm not... I really thought he would just be so excited to have some friends. He's not. He's not. Everyone, this is Henry. Hi, Henry. Say hi. Henry is sick. Um, very sick, actually. I'm not quite sure why, because there's no upper respiratory. There's no poop infection. He reminds me of Barney. Um, he's a little bit older than Barney was. Uh, Henry is at least eight weeks. How, cause, well, first of all, his eyes have changed, and he has all his teeth. However, he only weighs 14 ounces, so he is, he might actually, no, I think Barney, I can't remember. I think Barney was only like eight or nine. Um, however, he should weigh a lot more than that. He should be about two pounds, but he isn't. He's only 14 ounces. Uh, he is getting the barnyard shots. He's getting fluids. We just did fluids. And he's on a heating pad. And we are syringe feeding. We're syringe feeding. And this is a mixture of chicken baby food and NutriCal and water. And he's getting that. He does have fluids. He is on the barnyard shots and an oral antibiotic. A lot of people, when I have sick cats, comment you know, to give them the barnyard shots. And I actually do. I give those quite a bit. Um, it's actually, especially on, on little kittens, I just never think to say, you know, normally I'll just say they're on treatment or they're, you know, having injectable antibiotics, da-da-da. But I do use them quite often. And for some reason, when other rescues and shelters, oh, did you make some noise? He, he was, when he first came in, he was very noisy. He's been here um, about 24 hours. He was really non-responsive when he first came in. Um, but then when he perked up, oh, you've got some food in your nose. When he perked up, here I need you to put food out your nose. Um, he did make some noises. Yes. But then he, he keeps crashing. Um, and we're working on that right now. But yeah, Henry is... A gorgeous little boy. And yes, he is dirty, but I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I know. You want some more? Okay, here we go. No, here we go. Come on. Here we go. Good job. He won't eat anything on his own. But as you can see, he will. Um, really, it's because he can't stand up for very long. He has like. No energy. And we do have to stop. Like, we'll feed like this for a minute. And then we have to take a break. Which is why I started filming. Because they were... 
Okay, sorry about that. We got her interrupted. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he will eat, like, from the syringe, but he won't eat. Like, I've tried a bottle type thing, and I've tried, he, he won't eat. This is the only way I can get him to. But he's had this whole syringe. Um, it's just taken, well, let's see what time is it. Um, it's been about 30 minutes. <laughs> and it was, well, it wasn't the whole syringe. It was about up to eight. Yeah, he's a good baby, but he is very sweet. He just doesn't feel good. Okay. I mean, no kitten this size should sit still this long. It's just, it's not even a thing. It's not a thing in the kitten world. We don't sit still this long, but he's purring. I don't know. If I wasn't holding the camera, I could do it from this. He prefers it from this side, but it's too... Oh, there I did it. It's hard. Mmm. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, we're going to get cleaned up, and then I probably am actually going to see if he'll eat just a tiny bit more. Um, I have to put more in the syringe. Say bye. Henry, can you say bye? Oh.